In this recording, we're going to share with you how to capture invoice information, including line item detail or table extraction, using SciCapture in the new version 6.0. Let's begin. We're going to start by selecting our capture button here on the left, and from there we're going to select our capture profile. That's the configuration. Uh, this one is going to be, as I said, defined for not just header information from invoices, but line items as well. I'm going to simulate a scan by selecting the file, and then I'm going to select the Start Capture button, which is that great big green button, very easy to find on the top of the ribbon there, also in the Quick Access toolbar and income or images. Now, all of these were brought in as single page files. You can see that here in the list, but they are not all single page files. We'll stitch them together here momentarily after we go through the classification process. Let's go ahead and start that process. It starts with OCR or optical character recognition so we can extract the information from the uh, from the invoice. We have to make the characters intelligent. Then from there, we're going to run complex set of rules to define the different vendors we have to, uh, set up. One of them is a brand new invoice, so it is throwing an exception here saying, hey, I don't recognize this one. Now, a business user, also known as a knowledge worker, is going to look at this. This is someone from Accounts Payable, and they can see that it is Clark Johnson invoice on the right, but they did not see that on the predefined list. So we're going to select the, the definition button here, the, the gear ball on the left. We're now going to type in the information for the vendor name. Then we're going to select something unique, such as a fax number or a phone number. It could also be just the name of the vendor. And we're going to automatically build that complex rule. Now that's the first page rule. We're also going to set up something called a last page rule. That way we don't have to use barcodes or patch code separator pages between our invoices. So now we've defined how the invoice starts and how the invoice stops. Now we're going to take a peek at our zones. These green boxes are known as smart zones. Those were defined as soon as we opened that uh, uh, panel there. And now we're able to look at those. We're anchoring on the word invoice number in this case and then extracting the actual invoice number in pink. So we're able to validate. We're capturing that information. Now we're going to train the software on how to capture our line item detail simply by selecting the column heading at this point, so quantity to start with. We'll also get, uh, or excuse me, now we're going to get item code or item number. Uh, then we'll get definition, unit price, and extended price. So we're working from left to right to identify the column heading in this example. We have to make a couple of different adjustments here. Uh, just to increase accuracy, we're also going to identify which of those columns are numeric versus uh, text or alphanumeric. That's going to increase accuracy. And we also have one of these, the description column, as you can see on the right, is a multi-line column. So we're going to tell the software that that is a multi-line item. And then we're going to def uh, uh, link the fields found on the invoice, which is the far left-hand column, to the definition of the index fields in the ECM software, that is the right-hand column. Uh, those won't always match. Uh, a vendor is going to call it item code, but since it's your invoice processing, you may just want to call them item. Once we do that, we can preview the settings and see that we have captured all of the information here on this, uh, on this new vendor. Now we can cancel out of that. We're going to save our work. Always want to save. Now, even though that we have this uh, batch open, if anybody else scans those in, since we have a green checkbox, they won't be asked to identify those. I can also reject the document. That does not delete it. That is a phone a friend feature. So that would send the uh, invoice and the uh, settings over to someone in IT for them to configure. Okay, now auto indexing is happening. So we're going to auto extract all that information out and then we're going to uh, uh, stop in the quality assurance step. Quality assurance is very important. Uh, quality is key. We don't want to kick off a bad workflow with, with incorrect information. So we want the users to double check the work. As they select a, um, a value on the left, one of the cells on the left, on the right hand side you're going to see we're going to highlight that where we found the information. So as I click on uh, description, it highlights in blue there on the right. 
uh, as I click on the left you see the image responding and showing you where we found that information so a user can easily verify did we get it correct you can see here we did uh, Clark Johnson is that template we set up for that new vendor you can see we captured all that information as well from here we would then create searchable PDFs and then publish this information into just about any document management or ECM platform you wish uh, we can also take the metadata and put that into a database such as SQL or Oracle or uh, into a load file such as an XML file or a CSV and that can be imported into your line of business or ERP system so we can do uh, what we call dual migration and publish the information in the two systems at once this concludes our recording if you'd like to learn more about SciGen and all the solutions that we bring to market please contact us at sales at thank you for viewing the video